You gotta ask the OG fans if they remember David. This is David's third video. Hello, my strong, strong friends. Come closer so you can hear us. We're here at the beautiful Bates College in Lewiston, Maine. Right? That's where I am. And I'm here with David. This is our fourth video together. Third. Yeah, third? Third? Yeah. No, but I think this is the fourth time we've hung out. So yeah. you're pretty much my favorite person to film. That makes me very... <laughs> Comment down below if you remember David. I'll link all of the other videos that we've done together. Pretty much we just throw when we see David. So David <laughs> is a shot put thrower. He went to Bates, which is where Ryan went, through the shot. Now he trains in Portland. Yep. Yes, this is our fourth video because we were oh, in yeah, we were Shit! In yes. Wait, I wasn't even there. We've done videos together, but I've never thrown with you, at least yeah. not a shot put. Today and is the day. Today's the day. Vega's gonna throw. This is our Train Like a Pro series where I try to train <laughs> like a pro shot put. Should we give some of uh, his background, some yeah, of his yeah. accolades? I'm um, David Plus, personal best of 20 meters 37, which is 6610. I uh, threw that a few months ago in San Diego. Got USA Nationals in two weeks. I was a finalist at the 2016 Olympic Trials. A finalist at the 20 what? 16. That's amazing. I've met athletes who are on the Olympic dream, but never someone who wasn't a weightlifter. Let me show you what I got so far. This is what you do. Are you gonna glide or are you gonna spin? I'm gonna spin because it looks cooler. Okay, that's a good reason. She's left handed. Yeah. So we're gonna clean that up. David's gonna teach us everything he knows. David has to train. We're though. gonna try not to bother him too much, but we'll show you some badass stuff. We're gonna get Ryan to teach us some jab. Man. <laughs> Balance, yeah, that's great. Okay, but well, watch this. Right there. I got there. I got myself some amazing chalk. Honestly. What color is that? This is pink. Whoa, where can you find that? Oh shit. Hey, can I get the picture? The shot is held, mostly on the fingers, with it sitting lightly in your palm like this. When you go to throw it, the shot is going to bend these fingers back and create a stretch in your forearm so you can flick and release. <gasps> if you do that really well, you'll get, you know, a couple more feet, something like that. So holding the shot is integral to the whole thing. It changes your center of gravity when it's on your body, so you want it tucked in there as tightly as possible. The further it gets away from the center of gravity, the harder it is to control yourself when you're rotating or when you're gliding. Okay. And we're going to rotate. We're gonna rotate. I like it. You I, show us whatever you think is gonna be the I best tried to, to th throw the shot in middle school. Oh, this is you. Oh well, you got a lot more experience now. Yeah. You know, if you if you were a world champion on your first day, then you probably wouldn't have as much fun. Standing at the front of the circle, ball against your neck. You want to make sure that this is locked down so that you don't have any quote unquote daylight in the window. Right arm out, and just a chain reaction. Right arm pulls in left arm shoots out. If there's a block, there's an acceleration. So if your left side, or in your case, if your right side is blocking at the front, more or less fulcrum that you're gonna push over, and the left side pushes forward and lifts. Cool. I'll demo as a lefty. You'll demo as a lefty? Okay. And, and it's even awkward for me to do. Really. <laughs> All right, we found a lefty. Ooh, good windmills. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Nice job. Now make sure to keep your elbow up. Because if your elbow's down, then you'll end up with... Is this right arm was kind of hanging out down here? Yeah. Bring it and have it back here because that creates a longer stretch. Just arm up a little bit. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice job. Perfect lifting. You know, here. Shot is here. Nice. There you go. That was it. Yeah. So like, obviously your legs are stronger, so if you're doing this, and your foot pushed all the way through, so if you apply force longer, and it went like a foot further. How are, how are Chuck T's for throwing? Chuck T's? You know, actually not bad. Not let bad? See, let me see the bottom. There's not too much, but throwing shoes are super smooth. Yes, there you go. So, 
David is a really good coach because he's so loud <laughs> that whenever you do something right, it's the best feeling ever. Nice job, yeah. In time, you'll learn to use more, but it's also like specific strength. <laughs> All right, we're gonna need some a lot of food so we can regenerate yeah. muscle fibers. All right, that time you came a little bit more forward. Oh, okay. yeah, that's good stuff. Had to take my hoops out for this. Yes. Yeah, it needs to go higher. That was really good. I'm trying to make you into a superstar like ASAP. Yeah, we got about 15 more minutes for you to be an all star. <laughs> Do its thing. Don't worry too much about where it lands. See, that was perfect. Yep, that's it. That's it. the same speed. Don't go any faster. Like, yeah, so one of the components that leads to like why you see me go fast and why it looks fluid is there's something called a flight phase. And the flight phase is the period in between where I pushed off of this leg and this leg is still on the ground, off in the air. And that's about three to four frames when you're looking at it kind of step by step. And that's where the rotation is created. And you hear that. That one's felt meh. Okay, one more good one and then I'll throw a school. Maybe if I have something weighing me down, it'll. Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, Maggie, you, you almost hit the fence. Hey, you almost hit the fence. It was a far throw, but my form can be just a little bit. Five percent. It's not about how far I throw, it's about what I'm working on it from this day and time. Also, it's about how far you throw. <laughs> Here's all the All-Americans. Pretty standard size plaques. And then there's David's. <laughs> Double time. <laughs> Whoa. Indoor. Wow. <laughs> a three-peat? Yeah, it was a three-peat. I peaked really well indoors through all of those meets. You know, I, I, the first year that it happened, I, I was not aware that I was going to do so well, and it just kind of fueled the fire, and getting a three-peat was like one of the coolest things ever. Okay, that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me attempt to throw the shot put today with David. Thanks to David for helping us out, and for John, who's on the Bates team. He was my left-handed demo so I could watch somebody do it with their left hand even though David can throw really well with his left hand but anyway let me know what you guys think and if you want to see more of these videos where I try especially throwing elements of the the field part of track and field I do find more interesting because they're related to my sport and strength sports so yeah let me know what you think I'd love to try to throw a hammer maybe one day and maybe get a little bit better and more fluid at throwing the shot put it is pretty difficult but I hope you guys learned something new so like this video if you enjoyed it if you're not already subscribed to my channel be sure to do that so you never miss a train like a pro video and I'll see you in the next one.